They grow up so fast, don't they? I mean, just like that, snap of a fingers. And uh, that's, that's Kylie, very beautiful, very smart, telling. And uh, I'm just having a chance to be around and bond my girlfriend's daughter and man, you know? Taking this relationship to the next level. And it's beautiful, I'm loving, I'm enjoying every second of it. Lego Land! <laughs> no, but uh, we're at Lego Land. Uh, I thought it'd be fun, something different. Uh, get a chance to hang out with Kai and Brittany and uh, man, have some fun. Cause shoot, I'm still a kid at heart my, my damn self. <laughs> That's that big church, <laughs> on, like next to Michigan, I think. This place is so dope. It's like it's like Lego Paradise or or Legos Come Alive. So if you ever get a chance to check out Lego Man. This guy was the coolest, nerdiest, <laughs> I said cool though, but uh, he really had patience with them kids. Props, bro. So we are on our way to go see Suicide Squad, which was the ish. And kind of explains why we look like this. It was kind of my idea and she went with it. So I was like, hey, now we look like this. <laughs> Suicide Squad. I'm so excited. Are you my pudding? Yes. You my pudding? <laughs> that movie was awesome. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Rochelle, Illinois. Don't ask. It's my first time hearing about this place only because of this reason right here. We are going skydiving for my brother's 30th birthday. He kind of had the idea and I've been wanting to do it so. Hey, this is what we gonna do. Kill ourselves. No. <laughs> 
But uh, So these are waivers. They want us to sign waivers in case anything happens. Uh, they're not liable or responsible. Huh. Okay, so they had us watch this creepy video. I don't even know. This must have been like the owner or something. He had this really big Rick Ross orange looking beard and he was just telling us about all the dangers about what can happen and things going wrong for like about 15 20 minutes straight just like a video i'm like Ugh. if i didn't have doubts then i have them now this is it how you feel you ready well, i'm okay right now right now we up in that day here i don't know <laughs> Never done anything like this before. I'm scared. Some old girl I love her. My mama love her. My family I love her. So everybody love her. Up early. It's uh 6:25. Man, still got coal in my eyes. Following Trina, she in the U-Haul, and uh, about to get the, get the U-Haul, and uh, we're doing the neighborhood barbecue. Um, stop the violence barbecue and get you know get some people back at a church and everything and man just it's gonna be a good look so uh it's gonna be after our food pantry because uh, our food pantry is from 9 to 11 and uh barbecue is gonna be from 11 to 1 and uh it's gonna be a lot of people man it's gonna be real good out here baby so tired my auntie woke me up before my alarm clock I love it though and it's for a good cause me trying to save some souls baby yeah yeah <laughs> that's Lawrence right there he used to pass out the bags of food to people but we have to take him off the table because he'd be catching attitudes with people and be wanting to fight these people and cut them and all kind of stuff Got the food pantry going on right now. Uh, we feed over 200 families every week. And uh, doing a barbecue, put the guns down. Boom. How's it coming along, Brother Sam? Well, we're gonna make it. Good. Oh, to get everything ready. There's a lot of people out there. Okay. Yeah, feeding, 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 feeding people, feeding families is a good thing. That's right. The motivates them. That's, that's for sure. Yeah. Out there grilling. <laughs> What's up, Miss Lady? Give me some love, boo. I missed you last week. Hey, honey. Hi. How you doing? All right. I'm looking for a certain person. Oh, somebody coming out. They coming out. Oh, that's the only reason why I'm home. 
Lift that up for me, please. Thank you, sir. Okay. Man, stop it. Stop it, Sean. Frozen, 111th and normal. 449 West 111th Street. Across the thieves shout out. Let's go back yeah. to the line. Go, go to the end of the line. But it's this person's, this, word, right. this person's word over right. these three people, though. Exactly. But you got three people okay, without you they say they was one person. That's, That's what I'm saying. saying. Also, also, well, also this you go back your last two notes because he already came They tell me the person wasn't supposed to be there. That's on them. I'm passing these tickets out. If you right there when I pass tickets out, and you let them and get you the ticket, you let them in front of you, so then so. But I'm saying, Marvin. So out. Marvin, what did the scenario say that they wasn't here? They go at the end of the line. They no, he's saying them. if they let them get in front that's of them. That's not what I'm saying, you all. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm saying if these people, I'm standing here and these three people or two, one, whatever, get in front of me, and I'll be like, that person wasn't in line mm -hmm. when I started. Do they go to the end of the line? If they got the tickets already, or they haven't got the tickets. They, they probably haven't got their ticket if they just got in line, I'm just saying. They go to the end of the line or what? Any more if, hot if, dogs? If, if we not out there to see it for ourselves, yeah, I think so. I feel that I shouldn't, I can't, I can't tell you, you got to go back there. So what, I mean, That's what would you, you do with them? I'm asking you. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to let that, that person get I mean, in front of you. Which it is. That's the answer. You're not going to let nobody get in front of you. Oh, okay. So whatever happens is on them. I just told the people today, I said, you responsible for your actions. And if you're not, then you don't get in front of me. I don't care if you get in front of me. If you get in front of me, 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 if you get in front of well, two of them oh, got to come. You and me and Street and say, hey, you you said that People just come up and they be like, where Brandon at? And then they, they, they just find him. And they, okay. Okay. We out here. Weather is nice. Working. About to start shooting soon. Man, look at this weather. Man, feeling that. Y'all feeling that yacht season? Watch these dreams come true. That right there, that's that fountain. The one that was in uh, Married with Children. Y'all know that one? Everybody know that show? Al Bundy, Ted Bundy, what's his name? Is that Al Bundy or Ted Bundy? Al, Al Bundy, Al Bundy. <laughs> Ted Bundy was a serial killer. <laughs> yeah, Ted, Ted Bundy was a serial killer. Don't want to talk about him. <laughs> so, I'm not really running per se. I sped up the camera and it looks really cool. <laughs> no, nah, but uh, I'm about to go see my girl, my bae, my, my, you know. But I got some special plan. So uh, we're going to have some fun, try something different. There goes Kai. Low key, she going to be bigger than her mama. You didn't hear that from me. <coughs> Sorry, babe, you're short. Um, but, <laughs> but anywho, uh, miniature golf. So uh, I suck, but uh, we had fun. We, we had a good time with this miniature golf hole in one, baby. You got it. <laughs> no, you don't got it. <laughs> she might swing kind of crazy. You might want to step back a little bit more. Whoa, not that far back. <laughs> Oh, that was good. Y'all tied now. Y'all neck and neck. Now this right here, this is the part I've been waiting for. That, that, them go karts. The sp sp go speed racer. Go speed racer. Go. I was ready. I mean, me, Kai, shoot, he ready. We was out there, man. We was turnt low key. <laughs> Room. You know, 
I felt kind of bad. I ended up knocking one of the little kids to the side. He like did it turn. Okay, <laughs> that's another story. Naperville, out in this beautiful water, surrounded by nothing but water. We both can't swim, but love will make you do crazy things sometimes. No, but uh, <laughs> God was on our side. The water is so green. hurt the duck. <laughs> Ooh, you picking up some speed, man. Oh. <laughs> you so silly. Oh. 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 Damn, Brittany, you moving. Here we go again. I don't know why and how I keep running into this guy, this white guy. He's like out of his mind, random as hell, and he be having everybody attention. Like, and he be like dead in the middle of the hood. Like, how do I keep running into this guy? It is. When you know the police are there and they're coming for you, at 63rd. Take out before they get to you because they think got it done, right? Okay. Before they get to you, you hear them coming or you know they're coming. Something tells you they're coming. Have your ID ready. Throw it on the ground in front of you. Back up and put your hands on your head. And remain silent and don't say shit. Wait for your lawyer. If they ask you anything, officer, I don't have to answer any of your questions. You have my ID. That's all you need. Remain calm. I don't care if you are so hyped up that you just got your ass beat or you just beat someone's ass. If you just got in a fight and the police are there, police, get out of the Immediately. It's that simple. I don't care if you're bleeding from your hand. They're going to make you bleed more. You either want to save your life and comply Great. or you die. There's a, that's, your, that's your step. Comply or die. That's why I'm teaching you this, because you'll never have to deal with that union ever again. I had a police officer tell me today, he listened to me, I told him, you need to quit Chicago PD and go work for another department where you're allowed to carry a camera. He said, you might be on something right there. Remember, put that in the hospital. Put that in the hospital. This is a video camera world. Obama helped that happen. He took away our privacy.
Chasing the Dream, 365, Kids.